Morris, Morris Anderson. I came in October 59. My father was here, so I came by here to him. I was excited because, um, you know, leaving Jamaica and going to, coming to London, mother country as they all say. Very disappointed when I got here. <laughs> but the journey from Victoria coming over uh, the flyover, now you see all the uh, chimneys and all this business. Didn't know anything about chimneys, mm. you know, smoke coming everywhere. It was gray. It was October, obviously, you know. It was gray, no sun or whatever. So um, that was a bit strange and everything. When I got to the address, saw these big houses, you know, folks were waiting for me there at the house because they expected me. And I was, I was greeted, that's why I was greeted then, yeah. Where I'm coming from, all I wanted to do is come and get a job, settle down and probably help my mother to come over because she was still left in Jamaica. So that was my main aim. I wanted to get a job. But I had to go to school till I was 15 because you can't work until you're 15. I wasn't 15 until December. So I um, went to school until, uh, until Christmas time sort of thing. Yeah, I didn't enjoy the school either because nobody <laughs> could understand them, they couldn't understand me. Yeah, so um, the community you had in, the, in those days is from, if you know a friend living up Acre Lane or something, you go and visit that friend. And it was an open door. If you can bring a friend, then you're going to send another friend, it was fine. You know, I mean, you're not, you know, no one is going to tell you. People are glad to see you. So the companies I keep is the one I, I still have today. You know, well, obviously all the friends were, but, but those are my main friends. All the people who are established in Secular Down, those are the folks I got around with. In those days, um, a lot of young girls used to come over as nurses. They weren't living in the community, they were living in, in the nurses' home. So um, that's where a lot of our, you know, we go, as guys, we used to go visit a lot of these girls in the hospitals. We make connections there, and that's where I met my wife. I met her through, through a friend. She was a nurse, and my, the house I was living in, he had a cousin who used to come there to visit. And when she came, she used to come with a few friends, few nurses as well. So that's where, I'm, and I was living upstairs. So that's where um, I met my wife. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. The most important thing in my, in my experience is education. I didn't have that opportunity of coming over with an education. And if I was to advise a 14 year old to make sure you get an education, mm -hmm. because if you don't have the education, it, it holds you back. Even though the opportunities weren't I say, to, I say to you, all youngsters, uh, make sure that you take the opportunities. There's opportunities here in this country now, mm -hmm. and you should grab hold of them. Grab hold of all the opportunities to get in education. Um, equip yourself, you know. It's, it, it, and um, in any, any form of education that, that's going to uplift you, youngsters should take the opportunity. Too many of our, our young generation don't take is not taking the opportunity of improving themselves through education. And you, first thing you have to do is to get your education sorted out. That's my advice to youngsters. Yes.